Welcome to how to make iPhone apps. In this video we will learn the following. Let me introduce you to Sean. Thanks Sean, take it away. In this presentation we're going to walk through creating an animation effect using the suck effect. Go ahead and start Xcode. Go to file, new, new project. Select the single view application and select next. The product name here is going to be suck effect. Your organization name and any company identifier. Um, select use automatic reference counting. Select next. And then go ahead and create that project. So now, on this left pane here, you should see the suck effect uh, with files available. And of course, uh, we're going to go ahead and add our supporting file. We're going to use an image. So select the supporting files folder, control right click, add files to the suck effect. And if you have the sample code, you can go to the graphics folder, animation, suck effect, and we have envelope available. Select that, make sure these options look similar to yours. Select add. So we do have our image now in here that we're going to work with. Our next step is we're going to add a property to this viewcontroller.h. So at property, non-atomic, IB outlet, so that the interface builder for the zip will see it. It's going to be a UI image view. We're going to call that envelope view. And then on the M file, select that. And in the implementation, we're going to add a synthesize for that property called envelope view. So now, we're going to go ahead and go to the zip, select that zip here, and with this utilities pane selected, and this objects icon selected, navigate to an image view control. Select it, go ahead and drag it using the mouse onto this view here. Go ahead and resize it using the mouse. We're going this is just going to be an envelope, so let's resize it. And um, make it a decent size. On this right pane here, make sure that this Attributes Inspector is selected. Then with this image dropdown, let's select the envelope. And then we're going to associate this image, this envelope image, with our property envelope view that we already defined in the header file. So with the Connections Inspector here, click on this referencing outlet, drag all the way to files owner let go of your mouse and you'll see envelope view that property we defined earlier in the header is available to us so now we associate this image with our header file here this outlet envelope view now let's go to the m file and we're going to overload the method available to us, which is void view will did appear. So this method is we're over overloading it. So we're going to make sure we declare it as the super as well. And then we're going to add our code for the animation here. Let's go ahead and do that. And 
and we're just going to copy everything and I'll explain it to you. We're going to do a UI view, begin animations, and we're just going to name it Suck Effect. It can be anything here. In the context of our envelope view image, and then we're going to create a core animation transition. And as you see here, our core animation stream transition just sets up this animation with a type of suck effect and a duration of two seconds. And we're going to add this animation to our envelope view layer. So that image to its layer, we're going to add this animation. And then we're going to commit. So all animations need to have this begin and then this commit. And you see here that we don't have any IntelliSense. In fact, it's airing out because our libraries have not been set up for core animation. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to import it into this class. So import. In our, our case, we're using the quartz core. Um, for this suck effect. And then we also need to add to the frameworks available to us the Quartz Core library. So to do that, you select the project and you see that targets is selected here. So when you selected this target, this project on the left, the targets is now available and you go to build settings, actually build phases, and you link the binary with the libraries. So build phases, link li binary with libraries, select this plus button, and then we're going to add the quartz core. Go ahead and add it. So now we have the quartz core framework available. I'm going to drag this library into the framework so it's easier to work with. I'm going to go ahead and, and run what we just did and see how it works. And now you saw our transition. And I'm going to stop this. And it didn't look that great. Um, I think we should have the effect, the envelope view actually hide after it's transitioning. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add on the UI view, we're going to go ahead and add a delegate, set the animation delegate to self so that this next method that we call here, after the animation is done, um, we'll actually execute after the animation is done. So we're going to have a, when it stopped, we're going to call this selector, which is just calling a method on our view he controller here. We're just going to say, call it done. And so it will call our new method called done when the animation is completed. And let's go ahead and create that void done is our new method we're going to call and we're going to just simply say self dot envelope view dot hidden is equal to yes so that will hide our view controller or actually our image of the envelope view 
let's click the run button now that transition looks much better let's do run again see it one last time and that concludes our lesson on the suck effect Thank <laughs> you.